<clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crystalline Light. My name is Charlotte. Guys, this is going to be a reading for... Yesterday I did Pisces, since it was the birthday season's coming up. Um, so I'm just going to keep it in the water zone. So this is Cancer. Today, Cancer, this is going to be a reading for the Mercury Retrograde and the New Moon and Pisces combined. Okay? Then, in March, I would do bonus, a bonus for each sign to see, you know, how we're getting along, or mid, you know, mid-March. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So guys, yeah, so this is for you, uh, Cancer. So let's do a little bit of astrology, of course. So Mercury Retrograde was uh, started on Sunday the 16th. Uh, Mars entered Capricorn also, okay, on that date. Um, so guys, yeah, Mercury Retrograde, we know what that's about. Re, 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 refrain. <laughs> From making hasty decisions wait evaluate be careful okay make sure that you're not rushing okay so um, we also have um, everything going on in Capricorn is still going on over there except Mer uh, Mars just came into it right to fire up stuff Mars likes to be it's exalted in Capricorn <clears throat> it likes Capricorn you know Capricorn is tough and Mars is like likes that tough energy Except Mars is a little bit more impulsive than Capricorn, okay? But it works, it works. So we have Mars now in Capricorn, as well as Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn, and the South Node, all right? So on February 20th, uh, Jupiter in Capricorn will be sextiling Neptune in Pisces, okay? Jupiter does not like Capricorn, because Jupiter is expansive, it's happy, it's go-lucky. It's like, woo, you know, and Capricorn's like, well, slow down. And but it's sextiling Neptune and Pisces. Neptune is the ruler of Pisces as well as Jupiter in the ancient you know astrology. So it's working. Sextile bring you know brings opportunity. Neptune is about our dreams, you know, what we want to do, easygoing life, and then it's a connection to source and Jupiter's expansion. So it's about time to expand your cosmic consciousness. You know, it's 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 time to tap in now, guys, because spirit is talking, source is talking, answers are within reach if you tap in okay so uh, cancer you guys are very 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 intuitive i don't think you have problems with that then we have february uh 21st mars and capricorn will be trining uranus a trine is a flow again uranus is in taurus so <clears throat> taurus is you know your assets it's ruled by venus so it's like your assets what you love what you hold dear to your heart what makes you feel good luxury you know and stuff like that your home even also your base you know your true what makes you feel at home you know cancer is home but towards like what makes you feel at home you know that lovely 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 home energy okay and things you love that make you feel good that you appreciate that make you feel luxurious you know and just above you know all the drama and just like floating with like deliciousness basically um so yeah it's it's about feeling um it's about again answering the call and letting go you know it's not that serious let it go you know try to like focus your perspective on something positive then on the 22nd the sun will be the sun enters Pisces and it will be sextiling Uranus and Taurus. Again, sextile brings opportunity, guys, okay? So Uranus and Taurus, still, it's going to be there for a while. So the sun is in Pisces. Pisces, again, is all about the unknown, the hidden, the mystic, you know, um, source, the connect, the connection to source, you know? Uh, so very intuitive, very, very, like connected just innately so again uranus and taurus what you love it's about forgiving yourself healing and rekindling with your true essence which is that of love we are made of love we need to remember that we are made of love and never forget that and aim for love whatever we do basically okay bell on that ring it okay so on the february blah, 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 sorry on february 23rd i got excited february 23rd venus and aries goes into aries and it's going to be squaring Jupiter. Squares, on the other hand, are challenges. It's going to be squaring Jupiter and Capricorn. So Venus is going to go into Aries. She does not like to be in there. Um, just as Jupiter does not like to be in Capricorn. And they're squaring. So they're going to have to put it all on the table and figure out a way to make it work and make it pretty and make it beautiful and make it smooth. Basically, that's what it is, guys. Then the new moon as well enters Pisces on the 23rd right so 
<clears throat> fresh start, letting go of the old, the burdensome, the hurt, the despair, the disappointment, the naysayers, the self-doubt, the self-deprecation, the victim mentality, just letting all that go. Connecting psychically to source, okay? Tapping into that intuition, okay? Believing, just believing. Not knowing what the outcome is going to be. Not thinking about the outcome. Just believing and being here now. Surrendering and believing in the magic. Having passion and imagination, guys, okay? So it's dream time. It's connection time. It's openness time. The vision, the visionary energy. What are you going to be? Are you going to be victim or victor? Okay. Are you going to be a victim or a creator? That's the question you want to ask yourself. Because you have to love, purely love yourself in order to give that love back. Okay. Because the planet needs it now. We need that vibration of love to heal the planet. Lots of stuff going on right now, guys. You know it right? The coronavirus, you know, Australia, that, the, 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 the fire, so many things going on on a planetary like scale that we need to vibrate on love right now. And that's what Pisces is about, Pisces season, okay? So the oneness, the oneness of all human beings, the oneness as we were created from oneness, we need to rekindle and tap into that oneness again, okay? All right. That's totally cosmic, cosmic source energy of love. On February 15th, I mean, sorry, 25th, Venus and Aries will square Pluto and Saturn in Capricorn. There might be a tug of war going on over there in your relationships. Might be. But you know you're forewarned, so take it easy. Take it easy. All right. Mars conjuncts the south node. In the midst of all this, Mars at a certain point will conjunct the south node in Capricorn. And the new moon in Pisces will trine the north node in Cancer. So you see, conjunctions bring as well like a conversation. You know, it's like they meet. You know, it it uh, it goes somewhere. They, they, they go on the same trajectory. They conjunct and then they can just like merge. You know, it, it, it's a conversation. So Mars will conjunct the south node. So Mars is going to clean up all that, you know, like I said, that guilt, that all that South Node stuff, that those old ways we used to do things, those old things we used to t tell each ourselves that hold us back, you know, things we carry that we know we don't need, you know, outdated things, ways of be belief, outdated, outdated, Mercury retrograde, outdated ways of doing things. Mars is like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And the new moon trining the North Node is flow, so it's pulling us towards our future what we want the lightness you know what our aspirations are and how we want to like live our life in an easier and more loving way in tune with who we are in a more balanced and centered way when everything is balanced and centered that's when we can expand guys okay don't forget that all right guys so let's do this we're gonna start with the numinous astro deck obviously not obviously but i'm just saying i'm telling you because yes to see what um maybe there's an area Astrologically, since there's so many things going on that affects you most, you know. So this is the Numinous Astro Deck by Beth Matassa and Ruby Warrington. Very easy deck if you want to learn astrology. This is a time to tap into astrology as well, guys, okay? To learn, to expand your mind, your consciousness. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Cancer? Well, that was quick. Cancer, one card already flew. Okay, Cancer. <clears throat> you have the eight, sorry, the eighth house, Intimacy, which is Scorpio. Okay. So Cancer... Hmm, Scorpio is your fifth house, so it's about yourself. This is tapping into, you know, you, your Scorpio is your fifth house. So, you know, it, it's yourself, how you, like, present yourself to the world. It's, like, how um, you exp express your, like, your happiness, you know, what you love, what you desire, your, 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 your love for life, you know, your energy. This is your energy. And then Scorpio is all about the death, the death and the rebirth. So it's time to really analyze, um, go within deep with that Piscean water with Neptune there and the new moon and figure out what has been really holding you back. But truly and honestly, go deep, Cancer. You know how to do that. You're a water sign as well. So you can work well with this Piscean energy. And um, Pisces is your, <coughs> sorry, Pisces is your ninth house. So, you know, Go out, take a break, go travel, meditate, you know, reconnect. Um, it's 
or tap into that higher knowledge. You know, it's your ninth house. Cancer, you're going to be in tune right now. You are going to be tapping in. I know you are cancer because you already do that. You are going to be compelled and pulled because you know these energies. It's going to be so easy for you to tap in. Do not miss this opportunity. All right, cancer? Yes, there's something in here for you, cancer. Don't miss. There's something in here for everybody. But for cancer especially, I think you're not going to get just one. You're going to get a lot of info. life-changing information. Okay, don't don't miss this cancer. Don't miss this. So let's get an animal spirit from Colette Baron Reed for cancer in this uh, Mercury retrograde and new moon in Pisces on the 23rd. Spirit, what do I have for cancer? <clears throat> cancer, sorry, my throat. <coughs> cancer, speak up. Speak up, cancer. There's something you're not saying, something you're not expressing over here. But make sure, make sure. That it's in alignment with your truth, who you are, and it comes from a place of compassion and love. Remember, mark your retrograde. If I were you, wait a little bit, analyze, go deeper, figure the why, the how, and how you're going to express it. Okay, and if it's really the moment, the time, the place. I would wait till Mercury retrograde is over because Mercury is going to be retrograde in Pisces and then, and, and then it's going to go back retrograde a little bit in um, Aquarius. And on the 9th, it will be direct in Aquarius. Okay. So then you will have another, you know, more sense of because Aquarius deals with um, your social environment, your social group, your social dealings, your success outward, you know, sex, like you, how you deal with social groups, social things, you know. How you help the community. It's a community. So maybe there's an ick over there somewhere, you know, with friends and something like that. A group, social group, or whatever. Um, wait a little bit. Okay, till uh, Mercury goes back in um, Aquarius, guys, okay? I'm sorry, my son is copying. We're still getting over our little lifelong flu. I'm just kidding. It's been a flu, though, for a month. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, spirit animal from Colette Baron Reed for cancer spirit. Cancer. Cancer spirit. Oops, one card flipped. Oh, you got the same card as Pisces, freedom. I think everybody's about this. Everybody's, guys, freedom is at reach here. If you do the work, you tap in, let go of all frivolous things. Mercury retrograde, that's what it's helping us do with all the energies as well. You know, it's time to tap in and to think about our inner self, our inner being, our inner love, our inner knowledge, our inner consciousness, our essence. And once we do that, we'll be freed from so much baggage and doubt and fear. And that's what this is. 33, expansion. Pisces got this card too. I wouldn't be surprised if all, like, major, like there are 12 signs, right? I bet you that at least five signs are going to get this card. I'm sure of it. Freedom. There's work to be done and the promise at the end is freedom, Cancer. Freedom is near. And I don't think you'll have problem tapping in, Cancer. Because you want to be free. You want to be free. There's something you're done with, something that's like... <clears throat> it might be something minor, but there's something that, even if you know it unconsciously or consciously, that needs to shift. It needs to shift. And it's keeping you cha shackled and, and tied down. It could be something stupid, something totally minor. Something you haven't said. Something as easy as that, you know? I'm not talking about a job, but we'll see with the other cards. But I feel like there's something. Be it big or small, whatever. There's something that needs to just go. And you're going to find the answer within. Using this Piscean Neptunian energy and this new moon. That's going to bring it to light. All right, guys? <clears throat> self-love. Self-love, okay? Do not sacrifice yourself for anybody. <clears throat> when it starts, like, hindering your well-being, like I say... It means it's no good. You might meet, meet, mean well, but guys, once something, you're doing something or you're accepting something that starts like in, hindering your own well-being, that's not selfishness. It's not. It's self-love. There's a difference between selfishness and self-love, okay? All right, Spirit, what do I have for Cancer? Mercury retrograde, Newman and Pisces. Cancer, Cancer, Spirit. Tarot, Cosmic Tarot from Norbert Loach. Spirit, what freaking... No, what do we have? Mercury retrograde. There's such a beautiful sunset. Oh my. Mercury retrograde cancer spirit. The star just flipped, but we'll see if it comes back out. I think I'm gonna take this picture of the sunset as your backdrop for your for your reading cancer. It's just amazing. It's too it's beautiful. It's beautiful. One more card spirit. Not a pack spirit. One more card. 
See, something needs to come out. Cancer. Cards are flipping out. They're just flipping out like packs by packs. In packs, they're coming out. And then my throat. <clears throat> you need to speak up. You need to speak up about something. I don't know what it is, Cancer. Okay, what do I have at the bottom of the deck? I'm just going to hide this again. Ten of Swords. What did I say? Something needs to be... Didn't I say it? Ten of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Something needs to be put to bed. It's, a, it's the end of something. And it's ripe. It's ripe. It needs to be thrown in the trash. It needs to. It needs to come out. Look at this. It's affecting your health. Your mental, your physical health, your work. It's affecting, it's affecting you. It's keeping you tied down. You're not yourself. Something needs to come back, come out here. Cancer. Look at that. This is the worst like ton of source energy I've seen in <laughs> I think in a deck so far. I'm serious. Because look at this. Princess of Swords, reverse. This is not speaking. Or this is somebody that's very abusive mentally and manipulative, slandering, talking bad behind your back. I usually don't read, read reversal, read re reversal, sorry, but this is on point here. Upright, look at the falcon. She sees, she has a clear, she's clear-minded, she's decisive, she does not play. She's been through so much and she's not having it. And she speaks from a place of truth and wisdom. And she says it. She says it like it is. She says it like it is. She doesn't speak just to speak. When she speaks, she knows. And that's why she speaks. It's truth. Facts. Okay? Reverse. She's hiding. She's not saying something. She knows something she's not saying. Or this is the person that's like saying stuff about you. Lies. Things that are not true. You get what I'm saying, Cancer? What else do we have? Oh, yeah. Nine of Swords. Hello. That's like the nightmare card. <clears throat> In the original Rider Wait. See, I can't speak, guys. You got to speak up, Cancer. In the original Rider Wait, Rider Wait, sorry. This person is in bed with their hands still holding their head like, oh, my God, when is it going to stop? Movies, nightmares, nightmares, nightmares in the head. Nightmares. Again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, speech, like slander, words, um, nightmares. It's the thoughts, the thoughts, the thoughts, thoughts being like projected at you, thoughts that you keep inside, keeping you up at night. Okay. Cancer, what's going on? But guys, the 10 is here. I have a feeling that, see, you have nine and 10. It's over though. All you have to do, Cancer, is tap into this Piscean energy that is very familiar to you, okay? And freedom will be yours. It's freedom is here, Cancer, but you have to do, just co-create with spirit. You have to do this little job here, which is easy for you. So do it. Do it, Cancer. Just know whatever you're going through, this ton of swords keeping you at night, this ick, this thing. I don't feel like it's something huge, though. But it's been lingering and lingering and lingering. But you know, when you let stuff linger, linger, and starts affecting your life, then it will become huge. And you want to nip it in the butt now, Cancer. Now. Now. Right now. All right? Shut it down. Because you have the Ace of Pentacles then. And the Six of Cups, which is balance. Opportunity, a gift from the universe, a fresh new beginning, in balance, fairness, justice, Give and take, equal give and take. Harmony. New harmonious beginning. Okay? Last card, when I pulled that, I'm getting like, yeah. I know something's going on here, Cancer. I got excited when I saw the Ace of Pentacles. Because then, this is still bottom of the deck. We'll come back to these three cards. So we had, remember, Princess of uh, Swords. Okay? Then we had... The Nine of Swords. Then there was the Four of Cups. Four of Cups in the original right away is just like being like dissatisfied, not even seeing the blessings because like you're such in a rut. You're in such a dark place. You're not motivated. You're disappointed. You're like, oh, whatever. You don't believe anymore. Meanwhile, there's so many blessings coming to you. So many, you know, there's so much to look forward to, but you're, you're just in a sense... 
you're very negative. You're pessimist. This is pure pessimistic energy here. Well, no kidding. No kidding. When you're in this energy, I mean, in this energy, you are not going to be able to see this like gift from the universe, this Ace of Pentacles. And this cup here that the universe wants to give you, which is like the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups that you're not seeing. In the original, you see it even clearer. The guy's right there and there's a hand from heaven giving him, giving him a cup. In this case, not only are you going to get emotional balance, but the universe is handing you something so much better. Growth, stability. Don't forget, Venus is in Taurus. Okay, This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So the cups... The only way you're going to fix this is when you, if you go deep into your emotions. So you can find that stability again and love again, believe again, have trust again, faith again, you know, with things for things, you know, for, for life, for life. And being able to plant seeds that will grow from a place of balance and harmony. All right, Cancer? Cancer. I, f I, f I have a feeling you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Because it's, it's a 10. It's a 10. It's over. You're expanding. You're going to be expanding because you're going to be going deep, Cancer. You, you're going for that freedom. I mean, you can't take this anymore. This is, you can't. I mean, who wants to take this all day, all day, every day? Enough. You can't. And this has been going on for a minute. For it to go to a 10, it means that it's been long going. And then remember, guys, we had that eight, the, the nine. We had the, okay, no kidding. Look at this. We, here, they, they're all here. Nine. Remember, we had the ten first. Here it is. I'm getting like all over the place. They're all here. It's over, Cancer. Eight, nine, ten. This is how long this is, this shit has been going on. Sorry, I'm cursing, but it was called for. It's been it's been going on for at least at least three weeks. At least. Or 15 days at least for sure and, and it's been escalating escalating I think you've had enough you've had enough because now it's becoming too much it's just unbearable it started with this in your mind you could sleep still but during the day it was always on your mind then it started affecting your sleep now it's affecting your health Ooh, enough. I think you're realizing now something has to be done here because this can no longer be going on. I need my balance back. Okay. I need my balance back. Okay. Where is it? Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I need my balance back. The six. Okay. I need my passion back. I want some newness here. It's, I'm done with this. I'm done. You guys, this could be at work because of the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Leo, Leo Aries, Sag, passion. That Martian energy, right? Capricorn. I think Mars brings you this like oomph, this gusto, this, this courage to nip this thing in the butt. And it's, a, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And it might be at work, guys. It definitely could be. It definitely could be at work. Okay, let me put back the cards that were here. We had this. That went, so we had the Ace of... Sorry. We had the Princess. Then we had the, uh, the the Nine. Then we had the Four Cups. Remember, guys? These were your cards. And then I just kept, kept going, going inward, inward. And it just it gave me more info. It's always good to look at. You know, and then you feel compelled. Us readers, we know why. Sometimes you, you know, notice how they don't go and look at the cards. When we go there, it's because Spirit is saying... There's more, there's more, there's more, you know? All right, just a little tarot reader tidbit, tad bit. There's dawn here, Cancer. There's light. There's promise, this pink sky. There's promise of healing here, okay? But you have to go within. You have to go within. You have to get yourself out of this energy in order to tap into that Piscean water and get the answers, okay, Cancer? All right. Um, what else can I get you? Let's get a let's get a crystal just to see. Cancer. Sage this place. Sage your energy. This is heavy, and it's somebody slandering you. It's somebody. It's just it's somebody that started so small and just got blue. Oh no! Don't tell me I don't have any more. Oh god, it's annoying. 
Let me light my candle. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. So then I don't have this problem. is horrible I hate not having a lighter and I'm a smoker so that's a problem it's a big problem and it's the only lighter I have oh my god Ooh. sorry guys oh yeah it's annoying all right let's go let's do this all right cancer sorry about that well, it gave you a little break because this reading was just all of a sudden getting really heavy over here. All right. So it gave you a little time to go get some of the drink and clear that throat. That throat. All right. Cancer. What do you have for Cancer Spirit as far as crystals? Cancer. What can help them like clear the energies and protect themselves? I'm feeling like freaking like black tourmaline and stuff and, you know, clear quartz for purification. Or some... Herkimer Dimer or Libyan Tectite. No, Herkimer Diamond to go within, you know, your dreams, to connect. Sunstone, empowerment. Malachite, healing and forgiveness. Mm, yes, Malachite, green, that heart chakra. Finding that love for self again. Finding that love for self and saying no, standing up for yourself. Beginning the healing. Okay? And forgiving. Because you need to forgive this person in order, in order to start healing. Because if you come from resentment and wanting to seek revenge, because eight, remember Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio likes revenge very much. Don't do that. Start by understanding why this person is acting this way. Because people, when they act like really, really mean and bad, and not with integrity and from a place of, this from a place of fear. Because they're not feeling, they're not okay. That's why they're doing that. Look at the bullies. Why are the bullies bullying the children? Or whatever, adult bullies. Why are people bullies? It's because they're not feeling okay and love. That's why they go out and bully people because they want people to feel the same way they do. So forgive them. Forgive yourself too. Because you might be like, why did I put up with this so long? You might feel that once you get rid of it. You're going to be like, I feel so much better. Why did I put up with this? It's okay. Just don't do it again. Don't put up with anybody's BS anymore, Cancer. You're too nice. You're nice. You're empathic. You take a long time, though, to decide, you know, that if somebody's, like, worth it or not. Because you give people chances, 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 and chances. You know, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Seriously. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Cancer? So those were your crystals. Pink Tourmaline and uh, Malachite. Pink Tourmaline is very expensive. Difficult to find. But Malachite is cool. These cards are amazing. They're by um, Rochelle Charman. And the cards, I mean, you can meditate on them because the energy is so tappable in here. You can really tap into the energy of the cards. The cards are beautiful. All right, Spirit, let's get a um, Earth Magic by Stephen D. Farmer. What do you have for Cancer, Spirit? Mercury Retrograde and yeah, New Moon in Pisces. Cancer, for this situation here, this entanglement. Enough is enough. Spirit, Cancer, Ret Mercury Retrograde, and Pisces New Moon, Spirit, Cancer. There we go. Earth Magic, what do you have for us? Unfoldment. Yeah, this, this is unfolding for sure. I mean, if, if, it's a, if this is an unfoldment, I don't know. This is a pure unfoldment here. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords. It's, oh, it's unfolding, right? Oh, yeah, it's unfolding. It's definitely unfolding. But guess what? It's unfolding. I've had enough unfolding. It's unfolding. I want my freedom back, and I'm claiming it. I'm taking it, and I'm not taking your crap anymore unfolding. Okay? That's what's happening over here. Cancer. Lotus, you're going to be so free and be able to be like just <gasps> breathe. Take a vacation after this mess. You definitely deserve it. So you can rejuvenate. Because this is like... And like I said, I don't feel like something... It's something heavy, heavy. It's something that just got out of proportion. It got blown out of proportion. It just... People started putting their two cents. It started very small, and but it escalated. It unfolded into crap, basically. I'm sorry. 
I don't I have to watch my mouth. Maybe is it Mercury retrograde making me um, talk like this? Or am I just like feeling the enough energy over here? I'm just like, this is crap. Enough of that. All right. Okay. So, Cancer, let's get a... Let's get a... Um, I want to get a, I want to get a, um, whatchamacallit, what is this again? Wisdom Oracle, Colette Byrne read as well. I feel like it. And then I'll get you a, um, what you call it? A, uh, affirmation. Okay. All right, Cancer. Cancer, please, Spirit, Mercury Retrograde, and the New Moon in Pisces. Cancer. Cancer. My nose is itching. Cancer spirit. Cancer. Cancer. I want to get this one because it just separated itself from the deck when I was trying to cut it in three. We're going to get that one and another one. One more card spirit, please, for cancer. Mercury retrograde. My nose. Oh, Mercury retrograde and um, New Moon and Pisces for cancer. Spirit, the best advice possible from the wisdom, wisdom oracle, Colette Ben Reed. Yeah, enough's enough. That's what the video is gonna be called. Okay, we're gonna do that. So the yin and the yang. Didn't I say something about balance? You need to claim your, you need to find your balance again. Balance is your nature. Balance is your nature. The expansion, the three, the freedom, right? Body, mind, and spirit. That's balance. You need to reclaim that balance. The yin and the yang. Step into your yang. Because cancer is total yin all day yin. Step into your yang. Use that Martian energy. This is total Mars energy. Mars. Fire. Divine masculine energy. Power. Standing in your power. No longer putting up with this BS. Okay? No. You make the balance. It's your life. You balance it out by speaking up, speaking your truth, and saying no more. Standing up for yourself. Enough. Mm. Here's to see what this is. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. It's now. It's now. This has unfolded enough. We know what's up. It's okay. Enough. Enough. It's over. We're done. You know, it, it's enough. If this isn't enough, I don't know. Time to go. Time to get out of this energy over here. It's time. It's over. Time to go. Okay. If this is a job, like I said, maybe you guys need to move. You need to you need to change your job. Okay? Step into that yang. Time to go. Time to be fiery and move forward. Time to be, have a forward. Fast forward this thing and, you know... Put it to bed. If they don't do it, you step up and do it. They won't do it. I think they're perpe perpetuating this situation and it gets bigger and bigger. You burn it down. Time to go. Like a dragon. Blow some fire on it and burn it to the ground. Make it stop. Nip it in the butt. Over. It's time to go. It's over. Got better things to do over here. Okay. Time to be free, Cancer. It's time to be free. All right? It's time to be free. All right. So last but not least, the um, Soul's Journey by, oh, God. Forgot the name. Prague. Something Prague. Soul's Journey. Check it out. If you go on YouTube, you say Soul's Journey Review, you'll find out who did these cards. I'm sorry. I don't know who anymore and my box is all the way over there and i don't want to uh, leave you guys again okay friendship yep this is a friend this is somebody you hold dear to your own. obviously they're the ones that like stab you the hardest right those are the people that stab you the hardest the people closest to you right oh they've stabbed you all right not once many times well enough is enough it's time to go either you go or you make them go it's enough it's a friend here. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Yeah, to teach you a lesson. See, but this means that you've been holding it off, like I said. Empathic, you know, oh, finding excuses. Friendship is friendship. That's all it is. I don't care if it's friendship, family, whatever. This feels like friendship to me at work or something or a collaboration with your friend in business. I don't know. 
on an artistic part. I don't know. You need to break free from this friendship. Basically, point blank. You need to. Ah, you need to. It's time. It's time to go. It's time to go on your own. It's time. All right, Cancer. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, there's a donate button, guys, to donate to my channel. Um, I would appreciate it so much. Uh, it will help me like buy gear and just help the channel grow. But you can also just like, share, and subscribe. That's also helping. Okay, just send some positive vibes towards me as I'm sending positive vibes towards you, Cancer. I love you guys and see you uh, in March. Bye. Love you. Bye.